Hi Aquarius, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your September 2018 reading. Oops, just going to turn that a little bit. I'm also going to crack it up a little bit. I was typing earlier, so I had to move it far away on there, I think. That's just perfect. Anyhow, I wanted to say thank you for all your likes, shares, subscribes, comments, um, any personal readings that you've booked with me. I really love talking to you and meeting new people. So thank you very much. What are the... <laughs> See how it did that? What is the energy? So I just want to take note that threes three just popped out. So it is, by the way, I'm doing the Mythic Tarot this month again. And I'm going to do a, a nine card layout, a shorter layout, so it's quicker and I can do more readings. Anyhow, we have the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands is very fast movement, probably travel, like it really indicates travel. And it also indicates success, you know, it's it's fast, fast movement. You're finally getting to where you want to go, and it's moving very quickly suddenly. And this is probably in your career and achievements. The Queen of Pentacles um, could be where the movement is too, you know. This, it, it kind of looks like a business relationship to me. Um, Aquarius, with an earth sign, perhaps. Uh, this is Taurus, uh, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, they're very um, stable, secure, slow moving. You know, here's this really fast movement. Um, and But they're very slow moving. In this instant, it could be jumping on something. Maybe you're going on a trip with them or something like that. But anyway, this shows um, that being pleased with what you've been able to achieve, okay? So I think this is some sort of business um, together with, with this person. This could be a man or a woman. It doesn't have to be a female. But it's kind of funny that that jumped out. Uh, so that must really mean something here. So let's just give her one more quick shuffle. And then we'll lay it out. Okay, what are the messages for Aquarius? September 2018. I'm cutting it because it's just dying. Just dying to talk to you, the cards are. Okay. There's that Canadian in me, eh? <laughs> you don't think about it. So let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. My cards kept flipping over earlier, like it's stormy here today, so a wind comes up, and anyway. So, your first card in the past energy is the tower. The tower is about something falling apart, something um, about your foundation being rocked. It's about something coming apart that really didn't have a good foundation to begin with. This tower is built on the ocean. You know, and then even though it's built on rock, it's exposed to all the elements here. Also, there could be some sort of truth. There could be some sort of truth that came out um, because um, Poseidon, he has a crown of swords on his head. If you look closely, he's got a crown of swords. And although... You know, I, I think a truth has come out and rocked this foundation. And it was bound to happen anyway. You know, um, it was bound to happen anyway. It's something inevitable. You cannot stop. The tower will fall whether you want it to or not. And this has already happened. Here's the Queen of Swords. Here is you, Aquarius. This, I even think of Aquarius when I see the Queen of Swords because she's holding that vase of water. And, um, but it could be Libra or Gemini as well. Anyway, it's probably yourself. 
And so there's something that has come down around you in the past. Something's fallen apart. It could have been a relationship. It could have been you had to move or, you, you know, you lost your job or something like that. Anything. But this could be another air sign in your life, though, that this has something to do with, you know, this this foundation, this... You knew it, though. You know, you knew it. it, it that's the thing about the tower. We know... Um, it, you're kind of nervous when you're in a tower, you know. Life in a tower, eh? Uh, uh, it can be isolating, lonely, um, but you know that something isn't right. And, and so... Uh, sometimes you want the tower to come down and sometimes you don't, but um, you kind of always knew that it would eventually. The Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands is about competition, competing with other people's ideas. Um, this could, uh, this tower thing could be at work. Like there could be something falling apart at work. Um, because the Seven of Wands is competing with other people's ideas. Usually, this wands are about your career and achievements, your creative projects, where you're going. Um, and it, it, it looks like there's some sort of competition. You're, you're, you're trying to prove yourself above others. Um, and, you know... The Queen of Swords is idealistic. She doesn't really need to prove herself. She believes you should be um, above board in all things, you know, and especially at work. Uh, they don't steal and all that stuff, you know. They, they're very idealistic that way. So, or you are, I should say. Your first card in the present is Strength. This is about containing the beast within. There, there, you could be tested at this time. You know, uh, this a, a lot makes me think of being tested. And, you know, it's about the rage within us that we have to control. You can't just go and explode at any time with anyone in any place. Sometimes we have to control that, but it's with gentleness, you know. It's not with force. And... And so it's about being gentle with yourself, too, you know. Um, calming your rage, your anger, fear sometimes makes these things rise. And, and this competition, you might want to say, excuse me. Anyway, you really want to say your piece. But is it really going to do anything? When you learn to contain all that, um, contain those feelings, uh, you you will be uh, ready to emerge from the cave to get back to normal life. You don't feel like like you're mad about something. You're angry, and you know I said in one of the other videos, someone else got this, and I said about self calming. It's about self-calming, you know, let it go. Taking that deep breath. Because we have all found ourselves there where we are going to blow our top. Or, you know, I don't, I don't know exactly what your situation is, but does it need to be said? Really, is it going to change anything for you? So, maybe just containing that and just <laughs> calm me down. Uh, before you go off and do something to regret, you know, and, and that's a lot about strength too. Containing ourselves before we say or do something that we'll regret later and we think, well, you know, on second thought, I guess I shouldn't have <laughs> went off like that. But I think you are going to be tested. And, you know, there's no doubt, like, this is hard. This That tower is hard to go through. And there's something about it that you're still angry about. You're still being tested. You 
we'll see. The Ten of Wands is your next card in the present. The Ten of Wands is about a burden, being overburdened. But the thing is, is that you've won. You've achieved what you set out to achieve. You have won, but you're exhausted. Are you working too much? Are you trying to do it all yourself? You know, um, you need, I think that you need to rest, maybe delegate um, some duties out to others because you still have to go back to the castle and claim your reward. You have to take this golden fleece and say, look, I've done it. I've done it. I did it. You know, I accomplished it. But you're so exhausted and tired now. You can't even do that. You've got to rest before you can over even go and claim your reward for what you have done. So, you know, and, and also, it, you know, when you try to do everything on your own, and not delegate and try and take all that reward for yourself, you know, you're going to wear it. You're really going to wear it. It's not good for you. Um, uh, so you need to, to share those responsibilities. And maybe that's what this arguing about is about, you know, competing, like maybe there's other ideas, not just yours, and you're and you're exhausted from fighting with other people in this workplace. It seems like you're fighting. You're you're um, always at odds. You know, you're at odds, and and uh, uh, you know, and I think there's times when you just want to you know blow your top, but you've got to contain yourself, um, which can be very exhausting. The Four of Swords. So this is quiet withdrawal. This is um, uh, taking yourself away. Now, by that, it could be just in your bedroom, you know, going and, and sitting on your bed, and it could be meditation. It's a time when you need to look over your options. Look over your plan. Um, decide if this is what you actually want now that it's here, you know. Now that it's here, now that it's here, and also don't forget, this is a completion two-way. Tens are completion. So you've completed this project, and you're deciding, do I want to, do I want to, you know, where do I want to go now? I'm not, I, you're going to take that rest that is needed and you're going to reconsider your options you need time for quiet reflection this is similar to the hermit you know the hermit isn't clear though there's he's trying to find clarity this one you're clear you know but you're just trying to decide you need you need to rest you just really need to rest okay and, you know, it's so funny because, yeah, you need to rest. Like, your first card in your future is the High Priestess. So, um, there could be secrets going on around. There could be a secret. There could be something going on that you don't know about. This could be at work, okay, because this is, you know, it comes under the tower, then you have the strength, and then you have the high priestess, you know, and so you've been going through a lot this past little while, and after you go in for your quiet reflection, you're, you're thinking, it's not right here. My spidey senses are tingling. And, you know, it's about trusting your intuition. Really trust, trusting your intuition, regardless of what the evidence is, you know. Don't go off spinning new threads. I'm not saying that. But when your intuition niggles at you, when something's happening in the moment, trust it. It's saying... What'd you say? Um, that doesn't sound right to me. 
there is a secret that is going uh, that is going to come out. You know, they always do. But this is either about this relationship or the situation at work. There could be some double dealing going on here. You know, um, someone playing two sides or something. I don't know. That's about it. Ah! Someone playing two sides. You know. Oh, I catch myself doing this stuff all the time. That's not necessarily what this means. The charity is about getting things under control, getting your direction under control. These, this charity is being pulled in two different directions. These horses are going in two different directions. And if he doesn't get control under this soon, he's going to be, you know, wiping out. He's going to be split in two. And so... also could mean travel or moving you could be moving jobs moving positions it's almost like you're trying to do you're trying to keep up this pace still you know you're trying to keep up this pace and you can't do that you have get to you got to get things under control it's it's you know who's steering this thing anyway um, because you are driving it, okay? You are driving this, and that's what you need to realize. Don't let other people drive your chariot. You're driving it. You're the driver. You need to get it under control, okay? Because you don't want to end up back there again. Oops, back there again, right? And justice. This is your final card of the future. So this is a fair um, decision in your favor. A fair judgment. Everything has been considered. There could be a court issue here. There could be uh, some sort of legal issue going on here. Um, but you've gained a lot of wisdom. Oops. This is actually a positive card because this is about being objective and wise and fair. And and this is in your favor because it is a positive card. Um, you know, when I look at, at this card, this middle sword pointing down stands out and it is on top of all the other swords right? And it, and it extends from him outwards, from his center, right? And so this, it's like you know the truth and you got to decide how you're going to handle this. You know, that's what this withdrawal is about, I think. You got to decide how you're going to handle, how you're going to handle this, okay? So you know that you need to be honest, and um, and you know the truth uh, of of all the different um, people involved here. Um, you know because you know because of this competition going on here. There, there could be some sort of wrongdoing. Somebody could be saying or uh, trying to, um, uh, how do they say, defame your character. Um, and, and I think that It's just getting to be a bit too much for you. Anyway, in the end, it's going to come out in your favor because uh, everyone's going to know the truth. If that's what that's about, but it's about you getting control. You can't let other people drive your chariot. Decide which way you're going. You can't let these horses you know, decide where you're going. You have the reins. 
you need to tighten your grip and get um, and decide where you're going with this. You know. I'm not sure if you're going to stay with this or if you might go out on your own because it's got kind of left a sour taste in your mouth. Although, you know, in the end, if you get apologies, you might be able to start again, shake hands and start again. Um, but there's something here that you need to gain control of. You have a couple cards suggesting that, and one is the strength. That's gaining control over your emotions and gaining control over where your life is going, where you are going. Um, In some ways, I wonder if you're being asked to take sides, you know, and you don't want to. You, I don't want to really take sides here, you know, um, but you may be asked. And so that's why you're being pulled in two directions. You're siding with both sides, but I don't think you can forever. You're going to have to choose a direction and stick with it. God, darn cards keep sticking to my elbows and <laughs> anyway uh, Aquarius I hope this resonates with you um, I was just looking uh, it over to see if there's any duplicates um, please like share and subscribe if you like this video uh, otherwise I will be talking to you soon and keep an eye out I'm going to start doing weekly videos just little three to five card videos okay bye now